Hello guys, I am Aish Mathur from Mids Yellow Thing and in this video I am going to show you how to update your Windows Phone 8 into Windows Phone 8.1 So first of all this is the Lumia 520 I am having with me and its version is Windows Phone 8 let me show you Here you go. You can see it's Windows Phone 8.0. So basically, uh, the update is not yet available for everyone. Only the ones are registered with developer account are, can update their Windows Phone 8 into Windows Phone 8.1. So the first thing you need to do is you need to first uh, register for a developer account. To do that, you need to go to a website called appstudio.windowsphone.com. Uh, you can see the link in the description. Opening will open Windows Phone App Studio, and you just need to go to sign in. And enter your credentials. It should be Microsoft account, either Live ID or Hotmail ID. Now it will ask you let the app cache your info. So you just need to tap yes. And after that it will ask for a username. You can type any username. Okay, I'm here typing my brother's ID. Actually this is the third time I registering. So, oops. so it's been registered and you have your developer account so the thing with the PC ends here I'll take you to the I'll pause it and take you to the phone now after registering your account as a developer account Take your Lumia Windows Phone or any other Windows Phone you are having and connect to a high speed internet connection like I have connected through Wi Fi home network and uh, check it's working fine and make sure your Windows Phone is already updated to the latest version like I am having my this Lumia 520 updated to Lumia Black update. Now go to Windows Phone Store. Search for an app called Privy for Developers. Tap this one and tap install. It's a very small app, won't take long for do uh, downloading and installing. Now the app has been installed. I guess so. Yeah, it's done. Open the app. You will see the description here what will you will get from this application. You can of course learn more for learning and extra things. Now these are the terms and conditions and the first one is the one you should read. It says warranty invalidation. Updating your Windows Phone using this app may void the warranty provided by your mobile operator or device manufacturer. Now if you update to the Windows Phone 8.1, practically you have void the warranty. Now but there are methods you can avoid this. The first one is of course don't install it. Now second one is that um, um, reset your phone and say to them that your phone is not working. They might uh, roll back the uh, Windows version. but. You should have contacts in Nokia Care. Make friends there 
it's very easy to make friends <laughs> now I have accepted it here and you will take to the server to sign in with your Windows Phone account the Microsoft account you are registered with feed in your credentials um, I'll not show you the password <laughs> now it's done and I'm getting signed in now it says that uh, you will receive early access to the latest updates by enabling the preview on your phone once you have taken an early update you cannot revert to prior state now I'll tap the enable preview for developers and tap done and it will say it's success now go to settings and update your phone now I'll go to settings, update your phone and check for updates. Now there will be two updates to install Windows Phone 8.1. The first one will enable uh, your phone as a developer phone and will show you the Windows Phone 8.1 preview update on your phone. First you need to download it, that update and install it. It will take around 5 minutes to download and install will take around 15 minutes. I am skipping, skipping that part and will resume after that. Let me show you first that update. It's better to tap that automatically download updates if my data settings allow it. We will download the update instantly when it found it. See, they started downloading the update, and it's a small update, won't take long to download and install. I will install it and will resume it after that. So, this is what it says after downloading the update, uh, uh, before downloading the update for Windows Phone 8.1. This is Windows Phone 8.0.1053.2. Point one six is update. This will make it easier to update your phone to Windows Phone 8.1, which is loaded with new features and improvement we think you are going to love. So I'll tap install it, and we'll, we'll start restarting and loading the update. It's a small update; it won't take long, and. Is the first update before you actually download Windows Phone 8.1 update. I'll pause it and skip the part. Now it says the update has been completed and you are all set to get new phone updates including the latest one Windows Phone 8.1. Uh, it says it will check it automatically but you can of course go to the Windows Phone update settings and check if it's doing really. I'm going to the phone update. The Wi-Fi connection is active, and you can see it's checking for update. So it will automatically check for update, find the Windows Phone 8.1 update, and start downloading it. After downloading, it will uh, prepare to install it, and will ask you to install at that time. So I am skipping that part. We'll resume after it has completed downloaded the update. You can do the same. Uh, it might, it will take the longer this time to download and prepare to install. So have patience. You will definitely reach Cortana. So after downloading the update, it's it is quite like this. An update is ready to install. After tapping the details, you will see that it is saying you won't be able to use your phone while the update install. It will take around 30 minutes and shows you the. Windows Phone version and something about it. So I will tap install. 
and it will show you the terms and conditions and other details about the update here it is service agreement terms of use and it's quite big and I guess you should read it I would suggest you should read it because there are some things that should be clear before you install it now it is saying it is restarting and it will of course restart and install the update in the background so meet you after 30 minutes so guys the phone is now updated and you can see uh, the first thing you will see in, in which has changed is that the placement of the clock is slightly at the bottom of the screen and you will see that the, uh, the top taskbar is permanently shown now so let's unlock it it will tell you about the settings in which are changed now after tapping continue you will be taken to the new settings with something like a Wi-Fi setting sense and some additional settings automatically update store apps and adv advertising ID for better advertising experience account updates and a lot of other settings so I tap done for the custom settings now the first thing you want to see is the, of course the notification bar here it is you can see these four uh, quick shortcuts of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, flight mode and rotation log you can of course change these to uh, some other third party applications and also few other shortcuts just interestingly there is no shortcut for mm, data change uh, you can see there are the store seven up needs our attention so these are the application which just got updated and for that i need to enter the password uh, i will do it a bit later so just for your confirmation let me tell you about the about phone so here it is about you can see Lumia 520 Windows Phone 8.1 so guys this was the method how you are to update your Windows Phone 8 into Windows Phone 8.1 preview for developers thanks for watching uh, do like my this video and share it with your friends who are owning the Windows Phone and need want to update thank you for watching again